Hi, I'm Billy Brown. I'm a nature writer with Grid Magazine and PhillyNature.org, and we're going to talk about redback salamanders. So these are the most common vertebrates on the land in eastern North America. That's a lot of stuff right together in one sentence, but vertebrates are animals with backbones, and when we look at what are the ones that there's the most of living around us, it's actually these little salamanders called redback salamanders. We find them a lot under things like logs and rocks in the woods, and so we're going to look under this rock right here in Morris Park in West Philadelphia and see what we find. This right here, you can see why they call them a redback salamander. It's got a reddish brown wide stripe down the back, and these guys are adorable. This is about as big as they get, and they live mostly in the leaf litter and in cracks and holes in the ground, eating things like little worms, little bugs. In the summer, they retreat deeper underground. They do not like warm temperatures, and they don't like dry temperatures. So they spend a lot of the summer deeper underground, and in the fall through the spring is when we actually find them. One of the cool things about them is they don't have any lungs. So they pick up their oxygen from the air and get rid of their carbon dioxide all through their skin. And for that, they need to stay relatively cool and relatively damp. So that is why they retreat in drier, hotter weather. I'm gonna put this one back, and I'm gonna be careful how I do it. A rock like this might smush them. So I'm gonna put the rock back first and let it find its way underneath on its own. So these guys, they hide during the daytime and at night they actually come out and go hunting. So you can find them sometimes at night in damper weather or even if it's raining, crawling around the leaf litter, crawling on rocks and logs and even a little bit up onto the trunks and branches of trees hunting for bugs and worms and slugs and stuff like that. So these guys actually breed in the fall into the winter. And so in the later winter into the really early spring, you might find the females sort of coiled around a little cluster of their eggs. They guard the eggs until they hatch. And something that's really different between redback salamanders and the salamanders are related to their genus is that they skip the aquatic phase that you might think of for, for amphibians and most salamanders too. So you think of like frogs have tadpoles. A lot of salamanders have something kind of like a tadpole phase where they start off in the water. But these guys sometimes are called woodland salamanders because of this. These guys hatch out as miniature adults and sort of start off right away on land, which is an adaptation that's let them sort of live further away from water in woodlands throughout North America. Redback salamanders, in spite of the name, have two different color phases. The ones like the one we're just looking at have a reddish brown stripe down the back. Other ones are just a uniform dark gray color with kind of like a sparkly, dusty look to them that we sometimes call leadbacks uh, to differentiate. But they can both hatch out from the same clutch of eggs. You find both of them sometimes under the same rock or the same board. Be careful when you handle them. Hold them pretty briefly. Actually, the heat of a human hand can be enough to get them above their ideal temperature. Also, these are animals that because of their skin being permeable, it's how they, basically how they breathe, that they can also pick up chemicals that you might have on your skin. So if you've been using a lot of hand lotion or um, insect repellent, you might not want to pick them up so much. And if you're going to be on a walk with a bunch of people who all want to take a look, what I like to do is bring a jar. And that way you can pop the salamander into the jar and then pass it around the group so everybody can take a look without everybody getting their hands on them. And then when you're done, again, you put the rock back, let the salamander go next to it, and it'll be on its way. So these are salamanders you can find in the woods throughout Philadelphia in our parks. You can also find them sometimes in neighborhoods that have a little bit more greenery, a little more trees. I've heard of them showing up in Mount Airy, in Germantown. One even showed up in, in Filter Square, apparently living there. So you can find them, again, when you're looking under logs and rocks and other objects from fall through the winter actually into the spring. I'll say through the winter, I've actually found them on hillsides where you still had a little bit of snow and the temperatures were in the 40s, so it's worth looking. This video has been a collaboration between Grid Magazine and PhillyNature.org. To learn more about redback salamanders and other nature topics, check out PhillyNature.org. And please subscribe to Grid Magazine to support environmental journalism right here in Philadelphia. Thanks.